Pan is spread geographically over two sites, one in Switzerland and one in neighbouring France, and every day up to 8,000 people can be working on site. Staff, fellows, students, contractors work side by side with researchers come from all over the world, a wide variety of professions working together on the phenomenal project that is the LHC, as well as a number of other initiatives. Challenging work is undertaken daily here, but what of the environment in which the work is done? What about quality of life? Welcome to Spotlight on CERN. Hello Jean-Yves and thanks for joining us. Uh, you're responsible for the CERN document server. You're also a father of three. And on top of that, you're a high-level sportsman and a Paralympic skier. How do you manage your work and professional life? Yeah, it's, it's not always easy, but uh, well, I, th I think first it's... Uh, it's possible because I have good uh, people around me, very good surroundings. So, uh, of course, the family, but also the colleagues at CERN. And in the ski, as well as the professional skiing, the, the team itself is very important. So this is only, you can only balance these uh, activities, I mean, intensive activities, uh, if, if, you, uh, if you can have also good people with you. Absolutely. And what place concretely does CERN take in your life? Well, it's an essential place. It's the it's, it's heart of, of my life in some way because, uh, well, first, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic place to work. Uh, it's, uh, I think, the, not only uh, in physics, but also in, in all other domains. I am in, in, in the computing domain, and it's a fascinating place. I think CERN is really in, at, the, at the front line in, uh, in many, many domains. From your point of view, how would you qualify CERN? work environment, the quality of life we enjoy here? Well, the first point is that is, is the work itself is, is fantastic because of all these uh, top-level people actually joining CERN. Uh, the fact that it's, uh, it's at the same time uh, uh, like a university because it's, uh, it's research and you have people really from all the countries in the world which are joining CERN. And at the same time, it's also like industry, because you you have to, to, to give results. You have to be um, to all the all the process must be really uh, optimized. The world is coming here to to uh, to do the uh, the most advanced possible research on one topic. So it's really the year of countries from from america from uh, south america from from africa from from europe of course uh, from asia so it's i don't think there are many places where you have such an international environment many thanks Jai, for this insight a kindergarten, a creche, a bank, a travel agent, a post office, three on-site restaurants, not to mention numerous cafeteria around the site. CERN is often likened to a university campus. premises of CERN's kindergarten where every day 120 children of CERN members of personnel aged 2 to 6 come to school. The creche also welcomes a further 20 infants. Helen, you work part-time in the finance and procurement department. Why did you opt for the kindergarten rather than mainstream school? 
Well, partly because of the convenience of it being right next to the office, but it's just a really, really nice environment. It's a good transition from maybe being with a child mind or with just other a small group of children to being in a real classroom. And it's a fantastic introduction to the French language as well, because we speak English at home, so it just helps the children to get used to being in a French-speaking environment. Yeah, I can imagine there are several nationalities brought oh, together every here. every class has got as many nationalities as there are at CERN, so it's... Uh, but the, the staff are really used to dealing with children who don't speak French, so that's a great advantage. So they're all learning together at the exactly, same time. Exactly. And what does it mean to you to have the kindergarten on site? Well, mainly the convenience of having literally my office just next door so that I can drop off and pick up uh, very quickly. And uh, the fact that the children that can stay for lunch at the canteen if they need to, there's school on a Wednesday, which there isn't in a French school, so that's very convenient. Um, For the just, canteen, how does that work? Do they actually eat here or can you eat with the children? Well, it's up to you. Your child can either eat at the canteen being looked after by the staff or you can choose to eat with your child in the main restaurant where there is a special area, especially for the children to eat. And I can imagine so it's, it's very, a social event as well because well, you get to meet other people. Yeah, your children can eat together, you can meet other parents. Yeah, so it is a social occasion. Thanks very much, Helen. CERN is well known for its first-class accelerators and physics research, lesser known for the quality of life we enjoy, for the region we're in, but also for the diverse activities on offer. I'm here with Rachel Bray from the General Services and Infrastructure Department. Rachel is also the president of the CERN Club Coordination Committee. Hi, Rachel. Can you tell us a little bit more about the club scene at CERN? Of course, yeah. Currently, there are 52 clubs at CERN with over 5,000 members, and we offer a vast array of different activities ranging from arts and crafts, cultural activities, sporting, musical, uh, scientific. Uh, many clubs belong to either national or international federations and often compete in uh, international tournaments such as the Atomiads with great success, may I add. And so the clubs here we have at CERN, uh, they play a very important role in uh, aiding integration when people first come and work at CERN. OK. Are they only open to CERN staff members? Not at all, no. The clubs are open to everybody working on the CERN site, family and friends, but also people in the region. So that's a very good outreach um, aspect of the clubs as well. These clubs are initiated by people on site. Can you give us a few examples of the clubs on offer? Well, we, as I said, we've got 52 clubs currently, ranging from A to Z, so autumn club, astronomy, ranging to the Zen club. And of course I've got to talk to you about the fitness club, of which I'm the president. Um, if you see geographically, um, you know, it's easy to understand that we've got a ski club and a yachting club. We've also got the music club which organises the annual Hardronic Festival. Uh, but there are plenty of others such as fly fishing, filmmaking, women's club, uh, scuba diving. There really is something for everybody. Thanks very much, Rachel. There is no doubt that people are both creative and innovative in their leisurely activities. The audiovisual team has filmed a few images for you.
survey of CERN staff members carried out in 2009, 90% of people said that, and I quote, generally speaking, CERN is an attractive employer. A further 97% said that they were proud to work for the organization. Rachel, what do you think it is about CERN that makes working here so fascinating? Well, you know, Anna, don't you, that CERN is absolutely unique. It's one of the largest and most respected centers for scientific research. And it's here that um, ideas are born, such as uh, the development of the World Wide Web, which in, uh, initiate, initiated and then become uh, commonplace. Also, the same thing for uh, physics used in the medical domain. So even though I'm not a physicist, I'm really proud to be a little cog which um, works towards uh, this, uh, helping this organization fulfill its goals. Um, it's a multicultural environment, which at times can be a little challenging, but also extremely rewarding. There are over 85 nationalities on the CERN site. And also career-wise, there are plenty of opportunities because uh, CERN is so varied. Um, I've been here for just over 10 years. I started out in the supplies and procurement and logistics, and I've now moved into the technical domain. So it's extremely enriching and very fulfilling. I'm very proud to work here. Quite so. Well, thanks a lot, Rachel, for giving us an insight into life at CERN. And see you soon for more news and views.